Can I do this? What, is that, what does that have in store for us? Oh god, we step in the light and you can see. <laughs> Alright. Oh god. This, in terms of videos that messed me up for a while, this one, this one hurt for a long time. I was... I felt so, so sick for so long. And this is like, this is like lore where we're like expanding on... Um, uh, not quite as nice as the last one, though. Uh, we're expanding on Fear and Loathing on Las Vegas, yeah, I'm which I've not seen. That, so I'm just improvising so nice. off of Josh, just, who has I'm seen it. I love you too, but, you know, uh, are you sure this one's gonna make it through all of Black Friday? This, this part know. is really, oh, this, is this part is really dumb. Yes! Our nation. But it's sort of like Drink. integral setup. Like we get we get this uh this like laced Red Bull, uh it's like laced with cocaine I think is the implication from Russia, <laughs> like I've I've imported it or something. It's infused. Yeah, it's infused. Try it out. So like every time we drink Red Bull, uh, <laughs> we've uh Cheers. we're like it, it's like <laughs> the equivalent of snorting cocaine. Yeah, I will. I will highlight this. I don't really see what the. <gasps> where are? Th where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ah! Ah! Where is it? Ah! <laughs> Fuck, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. I think our cameraman screamed there. <laughs> oh shit! My seatbelt. There's no real like lore uh, dumps at this part. One thing that always practices. Oh, also Josh is uh jo Josh can't keep a straight face, so his interview is in like five parts. So I had to do some really creative stuff to like splice it together to make it look like it was uh to make it look like it was one continuous take. Also, uh he's he's on the toilet uh, which is a, a Smash Pros reference. And the Smash Pros, Papa Nooch sits on the toilet on all in all of his interviews. After that is Black Friday. Some shit you want, you. Oh my God! As a as, a, as an attorney, I represent anyone. What? What? What is that? <laughs> Josh goes to goes to like to like do some bit and then he he like does the thing on the on the doll that's supposed to make a sound and it doesn't do anything and he just keeps doing boop, it boop. and so I had to put hey, it in in post are you doing ISIS <laughs> are you doing ISIS This is great. Uh, this is like three a.m. in a uh, in a Walmart. Just it's just sword fighting. <laughs> Which is uh, that that is a that is a an, an integral part of lore. Is uh is the duel. There. Uh, there are many duels that have taken place. Uh, the most famous one of them is the uh, the Alexander Hamilton versus Aaron Burr duel, where, as you know, Aaron Burr was murdered in cold blood by Alexander Hamilton, a.k.a. Lin-Manuel Miranda, a.k.a. Hunter S. Thompson, a.k.a. Josh, in this video, who I just dueled and won. During my uh, 6,000s, I started a microwave company venture, and it went pretty well, I mean... Have some stock in Walmart, Hamilton Beach. Me <laughs> I made I made him like stand in front of this of this Hamilton. It, it was just like, oh dude, that's his Hamilton on it. Stand in front of it and say something. And then this was like this was like, oh dude, there's meat over there. Hey, record me. I'm gonna say something real dumb. Is murder. If 
you eat meat, fuck, fuck you. you. You're eating this shit, supporting the murder of innocent people. It's people. Meat is people. It's people. It's literally murder. If the pushes baked beans, there will be differences in how we do the beans now. <laughs> I think I should probably like costume up. I don't have the shirt, or uh, I don't have the shirt. Walmart, the first hit of the night, so to say, right? Um, oh wait, watching. I forgot watching they, screens they with uh, glasses yeah, sucks. Here and, uh, and, Meat uh, is people. Friend, it's murder. It's a pretty, pretty, pretty solid. Oh, this is just Josh telling a story about uh about something that actually happened. Okay, so last year, uh, or two years ago, when we did Black Friday uh, together, uh, let's actually let's watch. Uh... Let's watch the last Black Friday one. Uh... Is he gonna get the show? So there's a part where we open so, so, anyway. so, 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 so like, there's a part where we go to the same store, and we, uh, like, I like lay on the ground and do that, and then my friend dances over my head, so and then uh, as like I go to get up, my friend like climbs over me and kicks me in the head, and I think gives me a concussion. I think I had a concussion for the rest of the night. Berto said that he was gonna plan a trip to come to see us. Bernie Sanders! Donald Trump! Donald Trump! Play the Trump card! Donald Trump! Oh, this was before Trump got elected, so we all knew it was gonna happen. We weren't we weren't excited for it, but we knew it was we knew it was gonna happen. It was just inevitable. Donald Trump! And so we were doing a parody of uh of Binder. Oh here it is. Here, they're at the same store. Josh runs up to the door. Let me out, let me out. Water there. Oh, it's... There's like one other person that's like, no, I just... Wait, how... That's it. I'm just stuck. Here in the movie, yeah. And, and Did we do it after? Where are we? There were... The ones there for me. Yeah, I think it was after. Exactly. Are we trampled? Wait, I feel very trampled right now. Oh, shit, I was running. Oh, it was like it was like oh, we were making fun of uh, of trampled. Oh, what is this? Hey, let's go swimming. No. Let's go swimming. There's a lake. Oh yeah, there's a lake over here. So he runs towards the lake. This and then I. Shotgun. Yeah, I got on the floor, and then Alberto kicked me in the head. It was a good time for all. Anyway, back to the war. This is super super target. Cars. All right, here's here's his daily, daily routine. routine. 3 p.m. Rise. 3:05. Hey, what's Chivas number? Regal with number papers. Oh, 90. Smokes Dunhills. How do you pronounce that? 345. Your name? Number 90. Cocaine. 350. Number 90. Another glass of Chivas. Another Dunhill. 4:05 p.m. By the way, first cup of coffee and a Dunhill. 4:15. Cocaine. 416 orange juice and another dunhill 430 oh, cocaine, I should probably I should probably explain what this is this is a um this is a this, this is a a, a, re, a right, shot for shot recreation of Hunter S Thompson's daily drug routine which is like a clip from the Joe Rogan experience where he goes over uh, Hunter S Thompson's daily drug routine and he he like Here's explains this and it's like cut together with like Hunter S Thompson movies 5-11, coffee, uh, two margaritas, coleslaw, a top a ride home, a snow. And a lot of it's like sped Shark up, so it looks really silly. Heineken, clove cigarettes, grapefruit, Dunhill. And so that's essentially what we 54, did. 54, cocaine, 505, right, I cocaine. I edited it together. 5-11, coffee, Dunhills. 5-30, get more ice in the Shivas. Cocaine at 545, 6 o'clock, smoking grass, take the edge off the day. <laughs> 7 p.m. The day, three yeah. hours into it. Three hours in, lit. 7.05, Woody Creek Tavern for lunch. Is an IHOP. Heineken, uh, two margaritas, coleslaw, a taco salad, double order. Of 
thirty. And then the next morning we were just so deadly tired. All right, let's get to some real, some real lore. Like huge twist. Oh, niggas in Paris, ex vampires, uh, or uh, vampire girl Kuhn. Vampires in Paris, one of my favorite songs. One of my favorite mashups, and one of my favorite songs in general. This this is a great this is a great lore dump right here. Uh, if if you care about vlog lore, you're gonna want to see this right at the end. Dramatic music. The long, the long, long run down the street. He's coming. He's distorting the world. Everything's falling apart. Oh shit. Who is it? What's he gonna do? It's Needle Dick. It was Needle Dick the whole time. Who would have known? If you haven't seen the, uh, the vlog intro, then you are missing out on a big, a um, big lore. The vlog intro that I created. Hold on. I'm going to pull it up. Here it is. This is, this is huge lore. Very important. You know what that means? If you're missing out on this, you're missing out on some big stuff. Let's watch it through. My book, but luckily, I saved my own book. And you know what that means? Theme song. <laughs> Very accurate world map. From the uh, like recreated from the Smash Pros. Now it seems we were just pretending we'll fix our world, but on our way to a happy end. <laughs> just, just take a look at this picture of uh, world-renowned voice actor Vic McCokebrick. You know him. You love him. With this coke break. Oh, here's me at Penn Station and in front of the Discord Wumpus. <laughs> that took, this took so long to make. And then I ended up, like, actually uh, at a later convention, like, sharpieing on Josh's abs to look like Sun. It was great. I love the like sliding pictures, fade in, zoom. The the toy master from Spy Kids Three, the Mossad agent, Mosby, Needle Dick, Super Tan. The past can't hold us down, we must break free. It's time we're torn apart, but time will mend our hearts. That was the most we're torn apart we've ever been.
This is also uh, Josh uh, as Hunter. This is ostensibly lore. I think I would classify it as that. Man, we watch dumb videos for so long. Like, there's nothing else to do in the manhunt in the manhunt marsh. I just realized you can't see this at all. I should really make it, yeah, smaller so you can actually see the whole thing. There we go. Welcome back, Ben. How's it going? This, if you are missing out, if you're missing out on, uh, if you're missing out on these three episodes, you are missing out on a whole lot of lore. Josh takes the camera. Puts it in the refrigerator. Shuts the refrigerator. Leaves it in there for like a minute. Can't can't tell the difference between a phone and a bottle. This is this is huge, huge lore. Like, why are we in the tub with the Mossad agent? This is kind of like hilarious. So the actual reason we're in the tub is because. Uh, we went um, beach. We went. We were playing beach volleyball, and our feet were all sandy. And we had to put on shoes, uh, <laughs> which is actually too logical of an explanation uh, as to why we were washing our feet. Oh, here's this is huge lore right here. Look at this. Oh wait, where's the part where... Oh, Josh doesn't get in front of them. We t I took a picture, it's on my Twitter, where Josh is like... In pointing to them. Everything's good? Who's ready for, uh... Who's ready for fear of... Oh, this is we go we play manhunt which if you've ever played it. It's like it's like hide-and-seek, but with a lot of running and uh, When I play these I go all out Please donate to my patreon good night. I don't think the shots over say something else What do you have to say are you? So th there's a running joke where thank you, thank you for this subscription to Josh. There there's a running joke where I will say um, I am the sweatiest boy on earth uh, because I sweat a lot. Now this was now in this statement. For the correct, in, in this the, was the first time that was the truth. I was no actually no the sweatiest person no on no earth. How do you say that? Nomenclature. Nomenclature. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Uh, for the first time, I am actually the sweatiest boy alive. Thank you so much for watching. This has been... Uh, oh, so I went way too hard on Manhunt and hurt my friends because I went for a crazy jump. We did it! We're gonna go into civilization, uh, currently like this. How James in are you right now? I was also so out of it because it was like 2 a.m. And I was incredibly tired. Oh, this is this is a video of me uh, covered in trash, like laying on the ground. Oh, what's going on, viewers? 
It's like 90 degrees in my room right now. I don't have any explanation for this. Uh, this is before I shaved. Uh, this is what I used to look like. If it ever loads. I should probably change my title. Uh... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Unkosher Critic, Joshua's meal. Definitely the longest my beard has ever been. Whoa, what happened to Josh's hair? I mean, this is old. This is from September. Hey, load. Huh. Beard does not fit me. I had a beard for a very long time. For like, uh, oh wait, I probably uh, shouldn't go there. I should probably go to my videos. No, that's not right. Where is... My channel? Yeah, there we go. Uh, what what has what needs commentary here? Uh, any suggestions? Intro. Oh, the intro was on my channel. I forgot I uploaded this. Yeah, we could have just watched it here. There's Josh's channel again. Actually, let's leave that open. Uh, I think probably Supercon the movie, if anything, needs lore commentary. Feature presentation every uh every. Supercon the movie needs to start off with this. Oh, this intro. Every... There's a lot of... I don't want to play a game. Uh, not really. So every... every um. Actually, let me pull up the last uh, Supercon the movie. Wait, does this one start with future presentation? No, it doesn't. I, I edited the intro of this one. All right, I edited the first part of the intro of this one. It's great. I was, this is also before I had a microphone, so I was just using my phone. The schedule I just filed with Supercon is me, my clown, Mr. Puddles here. But only, only one of you. you. First one to talk gets to stay in my convention. Alright, this part's like not that interesting. But the ending of it is uh I'll tell you where the Josh and I edited I edited the first part, this part, and then Josh edited the second part. I'll tell you where the part that I edit it ends. You're a big con man. For you! I think I flipped the line there. <laughs> Puddles, Puddles is a is a clown act who uh, you've probably seen him in like viral videos, uh, but he doesn't talk on stage. He only sings. So like Dr. Pavel, who is Puddles, doesn't actually talk. He just only has subtitles. I need to re-upload this intro somewhere. Like... Congratulations, you got yourself caught. Oh, the music stopped. There's birds What's chirping. The next step of your master con? <laughs> All right, that's where it ends. That's where Josh's part starts. 
and he told me to end it in like an Undertale fight. And he's like, his starts with Megalovania. I'm like, all right, I got you. That, that was so much fun to do. I really want to do, like, m more intros like that. <laughs> so, we're here with the... We're starting this off with this. This is, like, one of my bedrooms. Oh. This is some serious... Some serious shit. Like... This is a poster I now own. <laughs> and I need you now. Good morning, my fellow. Hi, yo, it's... <laughs> Wait, hold on. There's one thing. All right, so here's the puddles act. He's... You, you've probably... I mean, you've probably seen him, like... Puddles. Yeah, Puddles Pity Party. He is, like... These videos have, like, 10 million views each. Right? He's on America's Got Talent. E everyone knows him, right? He's super popular. What they don't know is he has, he does this whole clown act. We saw him before he was huge. And because he, he like, he went on tour with, um, he went on tour with Aqua Teen Hunger Force and Dana Snyder, who goes to all these like Florida conventions, brought him along uh, to Supercon and had him perform at this variety show. And it was free and we went and we fucking fell in love because he's so funny and he does this whole like silent clown thing like silent sad clown bit and he's hilarious and he does this this one incredible bit hold on uh, i wonder if i think josh gets it on camera it was the part where we fell in love Yeah, he didn't get it on camera, but what what Puddles did was he ran off the stage, and everyone everyone was recording him because he was doing like a like emotional like song performance, and he ran off the stage, and he like someone who was re who was standing there recording him on their phone, he took their phone, and he's he's like is like while singing he like hand he's like hand over your phone. And he, they he, they handed over their phone. And he took their phone, and he'd run over to someone else recording, and he'd hand them the other person's phone, and then get and give them. He'd give he'd like swap their phone and take the next person's phone and give them to someone else. And it was this whole. He gave them this this big chain of of phones. And so <laughs> at the end of the performance, a bunch of people like had other people's phones <laughs> in their hands, and we fell in love. Because it was hilarious. And everyone everyone recording suddenly has a, a like recording of puddles running up and like and like looking into their camera and then handing it to someone else and <laughs> Oh and then he uh he ends the show by singing this song and then pulling people on the stage. And we are we are troublemakers, of course. So obviously, we run up stage as quick as possible. And there I am. And my brother is recording us. And they're they're less troublemakers than us. So they're like they're a bit more hesitant. But eventually, they come up on stage too. Oh, Seg's going live. Uh, I'm gonna tune into him when I'm done with my commentary. Oh, we should uh, we should raid him if anyone else is still here. We'll host him. Wow, I have like so many pings. Yeah, we'll host him when we're done uh, doing this commentary. This this part is amazing. 
we'll, we'll finish up with Super Con the movie three, and then we'll be done. Transition into one. Impersonate me, all I see, absolute horror. I cannot live, I cannot die. So he does that whole thing, and what he does, he plays another song, grabs his briefcase of stuff, runs out of the theater. He, he leaves this entire group of people, he runs out of the theater, he leaves this entire group of people standing on stage. And the event organizers have to come out and like shoo people off stage, be like, alright, go back to your seats. He doesn't, he doesn't like clean up after his act. <laughs> like he doesn't tell people to go sit back down. Wow. wow. Genius. Absolutely genius. And that's why he became uh, our favorite. Oh, and then I end the video by like walking up and asking random people uh, whether they will, uh, if they like the convention. Oh, come on. This, so every, so this Supercon has like, uh, has the, the theme of, uh, dreams. Everything in it is like a dream. So this part where like, it's like 3D diffused and things are like fading in between. This is like a dream sequence. And the part where like your eyes open up in the beginning, right here. Right, it's like an opening eye. It's kind of hard to catch, but you can see it at the top. And it's like, whoa, like swaying back and forth. There's this white outline. And then your eyes close, the dream's over. Wake up in the real life. I'll be heading to the Greater Fort Lauderdale Convention Center for a weekend of decadence and depravity. Welcome to Ear and Loathing. So this was the original draft of like uh, of Fear and Loathing at something. And we fleshed it out for Fear and Loathing on Black Friday. They, the, we waited a long time. Oh, this is where I shaved for the first time. Not much to say here. This is a, a strip show that we went to. Alberta stood up. <laughs> this is a live fan fiction reading in which we would go up and read fanfic, and then uh, they take off their shirts on stage. Great lore. There's there's a lot of like the main the main lore of this that I don't think anyone picked up on is the eyes opening and closing of like dream sequences. So this part is like supposed to be a dream sequence because it's like faded to white. And then it like the eyes close on it or something afterward, and then someone falls asleep on camera, and yeah. Anyway, thank you for listening to yeah. There, there's the waking up out of it into the final day, day 3D, the chest of times. It was the chest of times. It was the worst of times. Day 3D. That doesn't make sense. Anyway. Let's uh let's host Seg. Uh thank you for watching.